Well, cast your mind back to February last year and you may remember the excitement when NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Well, it's been busy for the last 15 months or so doing plenty of roving and now it's ready for the most important part of the mission, searching for signs of life. We all know that there are two main rovers that are roaming the Martian surface in search of answers. Those are Curiosity and Perseverance. Being the younger one, Perseverance has one main mission, to find evidence of ancient life on the planet. And even with that, it has found some evidence that hints towards that, but it's not clearly evident whether there was life. The parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration. It's a mission that began with a jaw-dropping descent, beaming back real footage of a Mars landing as NASA's Perseverance rover was lowered onto the Martian surface. Not so long ago, the Perseverance rover discovered something that seemed like an alien base on the Red Planet. But what could it actually be? Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look at the pictures that the Perseverance rover took that reveals an ancient base on Mars. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Now Perseverance is ready to begin the most important part of its mission, hunting for signs of life. And it's reached an area where it has the best chance of finding it. We know there was once liquid water on the surface of Mars. Uh, we know there are organics. Not so long ago, pictures that revealed some sort of doorway on Mars were released on the internet. However, enthusiasts had a lot to say about these images. Some wondered whether these images were evidence that the Red Planet may have been or even could be inhabited by aliens. The doorway was captured by NASA's Curiosity rover on May 7th on the slopes of Mount Sharp. This is the same location where it landed back in 2012. On one website, this doorway was described as a door to a pharaoh's tomb since it quite resembles some ancient Egyptian remains. If you look at the image, it seems like it's a doorway. Well, that is until you discover how small it really is. The said doorway has been reported to be about 3 feet high, which is about 1 meter high. This was according to Nicolas Mangold, a geologist at the University of Nantes in France. If you take the image and increase the contrast of some of the dark's parts, you will discover that there is a solid rock face at the back of the shadowed interior. So that makes it a doorway to nowhere then. But if it does not lead anywhere, then what exactly is this door? If you were to consult a geologist, they would tell you to take a look at the thin and slightly sloping repeated layers of sandstone that make up the entire rock face they would tell you that this is nothing but the eroded remains of hardened sand dunes. These are the same that covered the stream and lake sediments that were examined by Curiosity most recently, as it was climbing through the layers of sedimentary rock that make up Mount Sharp. A geologist would take notice of the steep and fairly straight cracks that are running up the rock face. These are mostly joints. They can be explained as fractures that eventually opened up when the weight of overlying rock layers is removed by erosion. If you look at the left of our Martian doorway, you will notice one obvious joint there. However, if you also look closely at the image, you will notice other joints as well. There is even one that forms the smooth wall that lines up with the left side of the door. There is even another joint that forms on the right side as well. The entire hillside has been eroded over the years, therefore the doorway is just a part where the wind was able to scour out the poorly consolidated sand and dust from the rock face a little too well. This is an area that is bounded by joints on either side, meaning that it could have probably been one of the factors that made that possible. In addition to the doorway, there is a base that is made up of an overlying bed of sandstone that forms the door lintel. As for the sloping top of a bed of sandstone, it forms the gentle ramp that leads up to the door. If you head over to the internet right now, you will definitely find images that were taken by the rovers on Mars that show some rock formations that look like some of the objects here on Earth. This is even though they are not even close to that. The rocks on Mars are bound to have some very weird shapes given that they have been sandblasted by wind erosion for billions of years. There are a lot of things that have been found on Mars. This includes doors, individual items of cutlery, pyramids, lots of humanoid heads, dinosaurs, various bones, and even a squirrel. 
However, all of these are just some of the tricks of light and the rocks. If you were to take a look at these images again, but this time a bit closer or from a different perspective, you would notice that they are not what they seem, but just a bunch of rocks. The only real thing to be found there is the stuff that we humans have put there, such as the wreckage that was discovered most recently by the parachute that helped land the Perseverance rover. The phenomenon of seeing things that look familiar even when they are not there is called pareidolia. Consider how many times you've claimed to see faces or even something else such as an animal in a random pattern on a wall. Sometimes we even claim to see a cloud that is shaped like a certain animal. All that is under this phenomenon, and it is what has been going on with Mars. Some of the rocks have been mistaken for something else, only to realize that they are, in fact, rocks. But this does not only happen on Mars. In December 2021, China's Change 4 rover, which is still carrying on with its mission to explore the lunar far side, spotted what seemed to be a hut. That was about 80 meters away. However, as it got closer to the hut, it was discovered that it was just a boulder that was probably ejected from a nearby impact crater. Others are even saying that it seems like a crouching rabbit. But how come nobody is saying that aliens sculpted it? One of the most common and famous examples of pareidolia is the Horsehead Nebula. This large cosmic cloud of gas and dust is home to whole new stellar systems. If you were to look at an image that was collected in the right part of the spectrum, and with just the appropriate exposure time, a lot of people have claimed that they can see a horse's head. But if you look at it from a different angle or a different direction, the shape vanishes. Over the years, scientists have always been eager to find out whether there is any other life apart from Earth. And for this, they will do whatever it takes to find the answers. Since they have the chance to explore one planet, they will stop at nothing to find the answers they seek. This exactly is what led to the two rovers being sent to Mars to find answers. Since they started exploring the Martian landscape, they have found evidence that seems to prove that there was once life on the planet. But all of it is not clear. Some of it hints towards that, but it's not really conclusive. Because of this, there have been a lot of conspiracy theories going on. Any picture that is posted on the internet that seems to support life on the planet is sometimes exaggerated by people. There are people who are of the idea that there is life on the planet, and they will do anything to prove it, also even from an image that does not really show evidence of life. However, some say that life is only on Earth. Then, lastly, there are those like me who like looking at the facts and are actually waiting to see real evidence of life on the planet. Where do you stand? Do you think there is life on Mars? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.